Hello, Tim Wilmot here and welcome to my uh, little video compilation of attendee paintings from my most recent uh, online watercolour workshop from April 2020. Um, you may know that I regularly run online workshops, particularly during this time, um, on a fairly regular basis. I was doing them every two to three months, but I've decided to increase that to one a month. And every month we have a different theme to paint in watercolour. And with attendees from all over the world, we paint together. And then afterwards, you attendees submit their paintings to me, um, a photograph of the painting. And I then, as I'm doing now, just compile a little video, a very short critique on each painting. Now, when I say critique, I'm just going to go through them uh, quite briefly, not, nothing in depth. And please, this is my own opinion of these paintings. Any, if, if you were to show these paintings to, to six, you would get six different responses on that painting. So it is just my own personal opinion, and I'll, I'll try and say things positive and for, uh, in my particular opinion, um, maybe anything a little bit negative or, or something that maybe that person could approve, improve next time they do a painting similar to this. So the theme for April was a little bit different from previous projects in that we were going to be using our imagination. So that's the first thing I'm going to think about when looking through attendee paintings is um, their, their imagination. It was going to be a rough stormy sea, mainly in a sort of viridian green colour, a greenish sort of colour, which I think goes quite well with the atmosphere of a rough sea, a stormy night, and trying to get a little bit of, well, a little bit of atmosphere and, atmosphere and impact into the painting. So it's completely from imagination. Previous or, or normally on my workshops, we have a source photo, a reference photo to work from, which we interpret in our own way. And we might think about composition and changing things and so on. But this time it's totally different. We have to use, be a little bit imaginative, come up with our own, uh, our own composition. Primarily it comprised of mainly a focus on the sea, but a little bit of, this is actually a promotional painting I did before the event, way before the event. Um, just thinking up an imaginary scene, a couple of fishing boats, a rough sea. Um, I'm gonna, gonna shortly show you a few other practice paintings I did before the event, and then my live painting before we go into the attendee paintings. So the first few paintings you'll see are mine. Um, from imagination, thinking up a scene, couple of boats being tossed about in the rough sea, and then my interpretation of how to do that rough sea with a mixture in watercolour, a mixture of soft edges. So up here we've got a, a soft edge to the sky, uh, a little bit of wet in wet, and then we've got a few hard edges coming down into the water, a few highlights on the boats, a little bit of use of white paint, dark paint for the seabirds, the seagulls, and a little bit of white highlighting around the masts as well, and a little bit of rigging coming out from the fishing boats. So that was um, a promotional painting. So this is a practice painting. So slightly different colour scheme. I moved the horizon up. I decided to make more of a feature of the sea. Um, uh, but again, we, we've got a, a mixture of hard and soft edges. And I'm playing around with the, the waves and also using a little bit of masking tape as well. I used a, a bit of uh, two pieces of masking tape on the left hand boat, the main boat, and then a little piece on the, the right hand boat. If you can see that little slither of a triangle there and then with the waves just trying out diff different um, wave shapes on the session i, I told everyone to think of well, 
I suggested that everyone think of these waves as a solid form. Think of them as a mountain range. You're looking down over a series of peaks and troughs, but fairly random, nothing too, nothing too symmetrical or um, uh, regular in, in their pattern. So playing around with different wave shapes. So that was practice number one. Practice number two, similar sort of layout. Um, the horizon on a, the same sort of uh, height. Um, this one, perhaps the far boat, a little bit lighter in value. Want to try and push it back a little bit. Slightly different wave formation there. Bit of use of white paint to create like a, a lacy effect over the, the water surface. So that was a second practice painting. And then now my live painting on the day in April 2020, uh, just you can actually just detect the pencil lines. So I drew in the wave shapes that I wanted and uh, a little bit of a rough edge to those waves and a little bit of soft and hard edges creeping in as well. But the sky was done, definitely done wet and wet, a little bit of sunlight or moonlight or something shining through. But again, using masking tape on the left-hand boat to get that sharp, crisp edge, a nice edge on that left-hand one, and then the top of the cabin on the uh, right-hand, slightly further, so a little bit lighter in value, and then this, this near boat a lot darker. And just a few reflections as well. As the waves come towards us, the waves are getting a little bit uh, wider apart. The crest of the waves getting a little bit wider apart. But again, I, I went for a mixture of soft edges, doing a bit of wet and wet, darker paint in there, get those softer edges. And, and a little bit of, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of white paint just to give a feeling of the sort of laciness. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what you how you would describe it but a sort of lacy feeling to the surface so there's my four practice paint or the live painting and three practice paintings let's see how the attendees got on so in no particular order this is Irene Irene R now these the the, the submitted photos I haven't doctored at all uh, I might have had to have crop them a little bit if um, if they didn't have a mount or um, that the, there was some things that, that were showing that weren't relevant to the painting uh, but but I haven't doctored them at all uh, you have to bear in mind with photographs that sometimes they won't give true colors the monitor you're looking um, with may not give the true color the the video production process may not may not keep true those colors so just bear that in mind as, as we go through so Irene lovely painting um, so you've got the two boats in love the choppy waves there perhaps we wouldn't have as much waves down the side of that boat there but the other waves are fantastic nice bit of a dark edge under them so you've certainly got the feeling of um, those random waves and the, the darkness under the under the waves of it. So as we as we look through these paintings, I want to think about how much imagination is being used, use of watercolor techniques, composition, um, and uh, yeah, just um, trying to use that that way of trying to gauge my feeling on each of these these paintings and the drawing skills that were used and how realistic the boats are. So Irene, it looks really nice, um, lovely painting, thank you. Uh, this is Carla B. So slightly um, light in colour. Um, you've certainly got a feeling of the waves there. Uh, perhaps we could have had a bit more drama in the sky. You've gone for more of a lightish scene. And really that was entirely up to everyone to interpret the scene. You didn't didn't really need to follow my own colour scheme. I did say, well, well, if you don't want, if you don't like green, maybe ultramarine blue or burnt umber or some brown, or, you know, you could have chosen your own colour scheme with a darkish colour. Most of us went with the, the green theme though. 
Um, what else can I say about this? Um, perhaps loosen up a little bit on your, on your waves as well. Uh, the, the, the waves are very good, actually. I, I like this one. This, this one here looks like it's sort of going to overlap this one to some extent. Um, boats. Uh, yeah, perhaps try and connect them a little bit more with the water there with it, with a few reflections. Um, lovely Carla. Heather B. Uh, so lovely colours in this one. Blues, greens. Uh, certainly we've got the, the values as well. A nice moody sky. Uh, watch with the dry brush marks. Perhaps... Um, actually, I like I like that in the bottom right corner. That's very nice. But these may be less so. Uh, perhaps it could have been cropped a, a little bit more. That would have got rid of that sort of bottom border there. But lovely scene. I like these sleeky boats as well. Very streamlined. Um, well done, Heather. And a lot, a lot of people painting this. They've a lot of them have never done a seascape before. Maybe a lot of them have never done boats before. We're using our imagination. We haven't got um, a photograph to copy. So you have to bear that in mind. And people did really well. I like the um, hard edge on the, the horizon as well, Heather. Well done. Um, Patricia. Oh, lovely. It's certainly got a feeling here. You've gone, you've gone bigger with the boats. Love the sky. Um, you haven't done a sort of... Well, you've got a bit of wet and wet on the right-hand side there. And I really like this that the watercolour does... The sort of blooms and blossoms. Yeah, the, the feeling of the sea tossing these boats around. You've really got this one, Patricia. Um, lovely waves. Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, so, so slightly different on the on the left-hand side. Perhaps you've let things dry a little bit. I don't know whether that was the intention. So we've got a little bit of a, a hard edge there. But yeah, very nice. Well done, Patricia. Betty, I know Betty's from Mexico, so um, I'm not sure, Betty, whether you live on the coast, but uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, perhaps a little bit too grey on the, and a little bit too fussy with some of these marks here. Practice your wet in wet, and also watch the, the sort of lighter areas around the mask. So just go over the whole scene, um, and maybe you didn't use the masking tape that I used. Uh, but lovely boats, certainly got a feeling of waves there. Um, nice lot of um, seabirds there as well. Yeah, just watch that painting around objects. You leave that sort of, I call it like a halo. Um, try and connect up these things a little bit more, which you can do with watercolour. Yep, lovely Betty, well done. And you, you, certainly, you certainly got that feeling of brightness there in the sky as well. Jack. Uh, yep. Yeah. Lovely composition. Um, we've got the, the sky is fantastic on this one, Jack. Perhaps the waves are a little bit too overworked, uh, but you've got the random. They're not too regular. Uh, I like this boat here. Figure on the boat as well. Uh, this boat here, maybe it wouldn't have such a light front to it. That might be this front bit might be a little bit more in shade, Jack. But lovely, great sense of movement, especially this bow here. It's just a riding up. Um, and but the sky for me, that's the standout for me, Jack. Great sky, and you've you've gone for a little bits of wispy clouds, and yeah, that scout that, that cloud's superb. Anna C. Great. Oh, you you've so you've not done much of a a sky there, just a sort of a little bit narrower than, than my sky. It works well. Play more on the 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 sea here. Um, this boat very good. Not sure about this boat. It uh, perhaps the the way that it connects with the sea, but it's all right. It's certainly got a feeling of movement, and it's sort of rocking on its right hand side, or rocking to starboard. <laughs> Hopefully, I get port and starboard round the right way. Uh, waves very good, um, particularly in the middle ground. Yeah, those, those waves are very convincing. Um, perhaps don't use the black paint too much, but you, you've left some little sparkles there. They're very effective. Nice one, Anna. And Eileen, very nice. Um, 
as I say, I haven't uh, amended any of these photographs at all or, or unnecessarily cropped them or changed their orientation, but that looks very nice. You've got a nice right-hand boat, uh, perhaps too much, too many white areas in the top part of the sea there. And we're almost losing, although maybe that was your intention, we, or that, that boat there is almost the same value as the sky. We almost can't can't see it, but love, lovely boats anyway. Great um, feeling of light coming through the sky and a few little birds there. Yeah, just, just maybe a little bit too much of the paper showing through. Perhaps we could have a bit more of the waves as well, more of the sort of crest of waves, but uh, yeah, nice, nice composition. Uh, well done, Eileen. Gary, Gary F. So great sky. It's like it's sort of exploding that sky. And I like your wave formation. They're very nice. Um, certainly the, the way that you've got these marks here, we've got a feeling of the movement of the waves. Um, so some of it is white paper that's showing through a little bit of white paint as well. A bit of splattering, which we could we could do on a watercolour um, within reason, uh, but you've, you've used this very well. Uh, it could be a sort of snowy scene. This could be the Northern Hemisphere um, up in Alaska or the Northern Atlantic. Could be a little bit of snow coming through there. Certainly a feeling of... Um, more of a wintry feel to this one. Well done, Gary. Uh, Jeff M. So, uh, so you've gone for a darker sky. Um, these waves have certainly got a, a, a touch of the wind whipping up a bit of spray. That's very effective. Yeah, you've, it's nice, nice wave pattern. Perhaps it looks a little bit becalmed um, the horizon. Now I can see you've um, you've sneaked in a little bit of a a little bit of a structure there on the left hand side. Maybe it's the far shore or something like that. Um, but you certainly got a, a a lot of atmosphere in here. I like the way that the sky the sky is done. Not too much overworking. Lovely birds. Yeah. Um, Great one. Um, yeah, I can't mention anything else about that one, Jeff. Uh, just just the point about maybe we could have could have been a little bit rougher in the where the boats are. Maybe just just have a few more um, active waves in there rather than a sort of becalmed look to it. Well done, Jeff. Thank you. So this is Jez D. Uh, thanks so much, Jez. Uh, so you've got, yes, you've got sort of short, stubby little boats, uh, which some fishing boats are. I went through the, the uh, on the workshop, I went through my idea about these different fishing boats. Sometimes you get the cabin at the front, sometimes the cabins are at the back or uh, rarely in the middle, but front or back. And then obviously masts and rigging and so on. I can see that you've used the, Masking tape in my sort of configuration, so a little bit of a sort of L angular shape there, like catching the front and then the, the top of the cabin on the right. Yep, very nice. Like the bits of the foam as well. You did a lot better than, than I did with getting the, the sense of the the foam on the sea. Um, nice moody sky as well. Soft edges, bit of a hard edge hitting the sea. Yeah, nice one. Perhaps... Uh, Perhaps some of these lines are maybe a little bit too thick that for and also have a bit of lost and found as well, Jez. So have a a few gaps in that in that line. So maybe in the middle we wouldn't see it with the bright light. It would it would be missing, and then we see the line again going down into the water. Uh, but lovely, Jez. Well done, Margaret M. Not sure what this collages um yeah so 
quite light in value. Perhaps you could have got a, a bit more of an impact in this one, Margaret, but it's, it's, it's really nice, nice uh, composition with the boats. I certainly, you, you've got the right values. So the, the right hand one pushing it back, lighter in value than the left hand boat. Um, what size brush were you using on this one, Margaret? Maybe, maybe if you had a bigger brush, you could have a little bit more of an impact. And also, watch with the edges. If you're not gonna um, have this mounted or cropped, um, continue the waves on over the edge of the paper. Do you see um, here, Margaret, We, if we continued over, we wouldn't get these sort of little white bits appearing down, down the left-hand side. But Nice waves, really good waves. Um, you know, again, a mixture of hard and soft. You've got a bit of wet and wet down there as well. I actually quite like the pattern of the skies. You've got you've got a sort of the direction of this of these lighter bits, um, almost like a radial pattern in a way. That's very effective, Margaret. Well done. Um, yeah, nice one. Well done, Margaret. Ingo, oh no, Ingo's gone for a slightly different theme. I, I, I wasn't sure what SAR was, but it's that save and rescue. I've been reliably informed and we can see um, maybe a boat getting into a bit of trouble. So Ingo, you've really used your imagination on this one. You've gone, you've gone off piste <laughs> and you've, you've uh, really, Look at those waves, a bit of splattering, the waves hitting this the uh, the starboard side of that boat coming towards us. Um, and it's, it's quite a nice, you've got a nice sort of, we've got a, a, a nice sort of, from a composition point of view, a very hard edge there going down the middle of the boat coming directly towards us. And it's continuing on with the, the wave curving around into the foreground. Yeah, uh, very moody. Perhaps we wouldn't have as much white, uh, this area here and go, maybe if that was a little bit darker. So light, I think is coming from the left-hand side. Maybe if this light area here was a, a little bit darker um, and then we could perhaps see a few sort of foamy bits going over, but yeah, well done for, again, using your imagination and coming up with your own interpretation and a slightly, well, a totally different layout um, to what I did. Yeah, well done. And and the waves going in a different direction as well. They're sort of, um, I guess they're being pushed left to right. So well done, Ingo. Bronwyn. Wow, we've certainly got a feeling here of the height of these waves, haven't we? So we're almost looking down in the trough of a wave and we're looking up and high on the ridge are these two boats. Um, so well done, Bronwyn, for getting that. Uh, perhaps um, less, if, if we'd have broken up that ridge a little bit, um, but these waves down here are superb. And you've also got a, a feeling of it, a sort of cold feeling to it um, with these, these white lines that you've, that's very effective the way that you've done those Bromwyn. Yeah, um, wow, brilliant. Uh, certainly th that, <laughs> that wins the prize so far for um, really large, um, a really large sort of waves that were looking before us and also as i did on the workshop the the light coming towards us we we've got a little bit of light shade on the side of the waves the waves that are breaking coming towards us do you see there bromwyn has been very effective at um, that sort of slightly lighter value compared to the color of the sea well done bromwyn kazim uh, oh, this is great. Um, so you've gone for a slightly different sort of cabin formation. Um, and it looks like this boat on the left hand side is just drawing in its net or something like that. Uh, lovely. Uh, watch with the brush. Get a bit more water on your brush, I would say. 
letting things mingle in with each other. But um, the C is very effective. And I like the way that you've got this sort of edge to that sort of deckled edge to the C. Um, almost like some of those, those those sort of Japanese paintings that you get of, of the sea. Uh, yeah, it's like a sort of very sort of frothy feel to it. Um, yeah, I would, I would get a bit more water on your brush with some of the some of the drier areas to the to the uh, the top the top of those boats there. So Ching, very green. Um, I, I suggested a viridian green for the colours. That's quite a a bright viridian green there uh, that you've got. And what I try and get the as you've done, Jing, you've got the, the sky, slightly different sort of hue, slightly sort of different colour to the sea. Uh, certainly a feeling of the movement of the water. Um, the, this sort of blooms that are appearing here, I think it's quite quite attractive in a watercolour. Certainly it aids, aids to give the feeling of, of the water and the waves as well. And, the randomness of um, them. Uh, perhaps watch this dark light. Some of these dark lines here, you don't need. Um, and get try and get a bit more detail on the boat as well. So it's not too perfect to shape. Uh, this boat is really good on the left-hand side. Um, perhaps with this one, it just needs a few little, um, bit more structure on the boat. Uh, yeah, very nice, nice moody sky. And I love that green. It's a beautiful green in there. Yeah, nice one. So just, just watch these dark marks, Jing, over the waves. Um, perhaps that one we removed. So the waves on the right-hand side are a lot, in my opinion, a lot better than the ones on the left. Um, yeah, lovely. Well done. James D. Ah, I can see James is into the Napoleonic era. And um, yeah, great. Uh, the, the, what a lovely old um, sailing boat or a, a sort of warship, a, a small frigate or something. And then it, we can see a distant one. So there's a bit of a story here. I mean, are they, are they part of the same fleet or is this larger boat chasing the smaller boat over in the distance? Um, you've gone for a sort of bluish, purplish sky very effective um and these waves are fantastic yeah certainly you you've, you've got a sense of the, the the frigate there being tossed around um well done on that james um i'm not i'm not an expert on on these old boats but yeah you, you've certainly done a good job there at um uh rendering and in giving the impression of this sort of Napoleonic era uh, warship, fantastic. Um, what could I say? Maybe, maybe the sky here, if we'd have, maybe try and connect a part of this sky a little bit more effectively to the water, but the rest of the sea, I, I like this nearby waves. Yeah, fantastic. Well done, James. Rossella, very nice. Feeling of bright light coming into the scene. Um, so you've sort of followed, yeah, very choppy there. Got a, certainly the way that you've got your brush marks, you've given the feeling of a, a choppy sea. Um, these in the foreground, um, maybe these, if you'd gone a bit bolder with some of these brush marks here, they're maybe just a little bit too narrow and regular. Perhaps Rosella, if they were a bit larger, some of those, but you, you've got a feeling of the darkness under that wave there. Maybe a tiny bit too dark, but it's all right. Um, waves, very nice. You Very sort of random waves. Yes, it's very nice and great feeling of, of light coming into the scene. My, my, my thoughts are with this one, just these little, little marks, if they were just a bit bigger, bigger brush and but you've 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 mastered the 
watercolour technique of wet in, wet here very well with those soft edges. Brilliant Rosella, well done. And Catherine M. So you've been a bit more detailed with this. We've got a feeling also of a brighter scene, uh, almost the start of the day or the end of the day, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I love the paper. We can see a, 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 you've got a, a, a ni nice um, surface to that paper as well. Great. Um, boats being tossed around a bit. Uh, the waves as well. Um, just be careful with a little bit of trying to overwork some of those waves, um, which there might be a little bit here in the, the sort of middle ground, but the the foreground waves, I like the waves in this section here, over on the left hand side. They are absolutely superb. The, the colour of that and you let the first layer dry a little bit, then you went on with a, a darker colour on top. Very nice indeed. Um, boats. Yes, you've gone quite detailed with the boats. Maybe like one of my previous comments, do a bit of lost and found. So some of these lines, not a continuous line, break them up a little bit. And this line coming down here, perhaps if it had a few gaps in it, it might just appear as if there's a bit more movement in that in that line. Uh, birds are superb though. Yeah, well done for getting in more of a, a brighter scene. Yeah, thanks Catherine. Anna W. Oh, very green. Wow, I, th I think you've used uh, that sort of viridian for the whole scene. And um, also, I guess from a perspective point of view or the angle of the viewer, it looks like we're looking down slightly on the scene um, than the previous paintings with this boat sort of sitting in the scene. But perhaps if there's a few more wave brush marks to indicate a few th thinner, narrow waves there, but great sense of light. Look at that bright light. I I made a mistake on mine in in, in making the, the light just a little bit, it's too narrow on my live painting. I would have preferred it a bit more like Anna's that kind of size. Uh, yeah. The waves, I like these, the foreground waves, they're brilliant. That sort of, that line that you've got there and this one as well. Um, and yeah, maybe there's just a few more marks here on this boat, just to indicate that it's sort of moving along. Um, yeah, nice one, Anna, well done, lovely. Okay. Wow, sense of darkness here and, and the gloom and look how dark it is in the top left corner. And these menacing clouds coming down on the scene, just about to hit that boat. That, that's a very atmospheric uh, bit of light coming through there. And also the, the touch of light that you've got, the, the waves bouncing against this fishing boat, yeah, lovely. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got more of a sort of darker, charcoaly sort of grey sky. Yeah, very nice. Um, not sure if the birds up in the top left there are as effective as they could be. Looks like a. Not sure if they're meant to be birds, or a bit of smoke coming out the. The, the fishing boat, but. Yeah, the, the, the atmosphere of that sky and, and the way that you've got the waves and this central bit as well, bit of soft edges appearing there. Um, great, lovely cake, well done. Right, next one is Doris. And I love this, uh, these foreground waves. Um, the, the white, these little white lines as well. Um, a few sort of choppy bits across there. Uh, got a great soft edge on the horizon. It's quite effective. Um, not sure about how how realistic these 
boats look. The, the left-hand boat's better than the right-hand boat. Maybe with the right-hand one, there's a bit too much of a cabin on top. Perhaps if it was a bit smaller in, in size, that cabin, and the whole boat a little bit smaller in size as well to push it back. But this, this left-hand boat, yeah, very nice. Got a feeling of a, a wave or a bit of spray being thrown off. Great sky. Um, but for me, I love that foreground, the mid, this, this near wave. Um, and those lines of the this lacy feeling that you've got. And oh, that, that middle wave as, as well, that's, that's excellent. Yeah, well done, Doris. Fantastic. Terry A. It's a slightly different um, style to some of the others. You've, you've gone quite detailed on these boats. Uh, so I guess this boat is going, yes, you've got a, you've got a diff slightly, slightly different direction for these boats, I think. It looks like this boat's going from right to left. Um, waves very good. Uh, perhaps some of the brush marks could be a little bit bolder and just watch the the direction of those brush marks as well to enhance the feeling of some of these waves. So go, I would have gone a bit darker on this one, coming closer towards us. I love the sky, great sky. Um, and the way that you've got a bit of light around that boat as well. But it's just, yeah, I think it's just the boats. Maybe there's a bit too many marks on them or look a bit too fussy. Perhaps if you had less lines on them and a bit more rigging as well. Um, just with a brush, just make some random marks and some, some, some additional bits of structure and railings or things like that. So they look a little bit too, too bare. Um, and with the birds, try and make them all a little bit different in in their shape and the, the wings as well. It looks like these birds are maybe a little, <laughs> no disrespect, look like they're, they're flying maybe a little bit upside down. Um, not sure, but I like that bird there. That's beautiful. Right hand boat, really good. Um, nice sense of spray and foam coming up there as well, Terry. Uh, Great sky though. I, I can also see a little bit of rosy red in that. That's very effective. Um, yeah, just by thinking about the boats, just needing a bit more detail on them and the birds, um, yeah, just sort of, uh, well actually, actually that could, that could, it could be a wing. This could be the body. No, the birds are all right. Scrub what I said about the birds. The birds are, are great. Um, yeah, just what that, I think it's the, these couple of marks here, if they were, if the curve was going like that, rather than like that, it would look just a little bit better in that foreground. But well done, Terry. Um, and I really like that sky. It's, it's it almost looks like a sort of rainstorm coming in as well. Great, well done. Tom S. Wow, look at that slice of light coming in, top left to bottom right. So you've gone, I don't think there's um, a second boat, so there's one boat. And yeah, you've you really used your imagination like Ingo did before um, with the rescue boats and the waves. You, you, well, you're, you're almost like Ingo with the waves coming towards us. And, and these waves are, are crashing over this boat. We can't see the boat. It's chopped in half with that wave. Uh, very effective. Perhaps that edge could be a bit softer, Tom. Um, a bit like you have in places here on the right-hand side, but on the left-hand side, um, it was a bit softer. Otherwise it might look like it's sort of, well, it could be, this, this could be, a rocky cliff so this boat is sort of avoiding it's going around the, the cliff and this could be this could be a cliff edge here um, yeah but but if, if it's part of the sky perhaps make it a bit softer um, 
as it is looks a bit like a rock but I, I, I mean the, the actual angle of it is fantastic and um, you certainly have used your imagination with the the placement of that boat and also that boat if you just have one boat you don't want to have it slap bang in the middle and and Tom's been very good at just having it ever so slightly to the right so it's not completely symmetrical and um, right in the middle and it's split as well with this wave yeah very nice Tom thank you very much indeed and Philippe yep yeah. uh, so not not so green on this one you've gone with your own color scheme um, well done with the light that soft edge coming towards us um, Left-hand boat, really good. Perhaps the right-hand boat, not as convincing. Perhaps if the hull was a little bit um, not so deep, so it was sat more in the water, it looks a bit too sort of stubby. But I like these waves, certainly here in the middle ground. Um, they look as if, actually looks a little bit calmer here coming towards us, so... Um, the, these waves are, are not so violent as um, some of them in the distance there. Uh, but lovely, Philippe. I also watched the um, the white around the back of the boat. So the light's coming from here. So perhaps it wouldn't be, we wouldn't get these little white lines appearing around the back of the cabin. But well done, Philippe. It's just my, yeah, not so enamored with that boat on the right hand side this left hand boat though is superb well done thank you philippe and robert w oh what what a lovely palette um not necessarily a stormy violent sea but the 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 color schemes that you've got here the sort of light transparency of the layers as well um, it's got a, a, a nice sort of charm about it and very loose. I mean, look at that splodge of burnt sienna or something there. Um, and, and it's echoed in some of the middle ground as well, in the right-hand bit of that boat also. Um, perhaps with the windows, just not make them too perfect. Perhaps use a, a brush with a sharper point on it. Love the birds though, make them different sizes. Robert, uh, so some small, some large. Uh, what else can I say? We've got a sort of misty, ghosty feeling of, of this right-hand one, where it's sort of touching the water. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of quite different, this. Um, I particularly like the colours and that that brave use of, the, of the, that sort of warm colour in the scene. It's sort of echoed repeated in different parts of the of the scene and the near side of that cabin then look at that rosy alizarin sort of uh, that that red glow in the top left corner yeah fantastic colors beautiful colors well done robert steve wow um think of the thrust of this middle wave um it's really exploding on the scene and the well the the, the two rows of these narrow the, these these nearby ways fantastic um great boats that one looks it looks as though it's really having some trouble keeping upright but it's it's managing and coping with the conditions uh watch the i would say steve just watch a little bit on the overworking um and keep the idea with the sky what my, my interpretation was to try and keep it quite soft um you've got in a few hard edges there but it works you you've you've got you've got those those hard edges just watch the edges to stop the 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 lightness creeping in the edges so so go right over the edge if you're using masking tape i think around your 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 paper with a brush go right over the edge so you don't get these little marks appearing in the in the top left. 
on the top of this, the uh, the picture. Uh, but great. I mean, this this the 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 atmosphere of these waves very good and um, yeah, not. It's difficult to detect whether this is white paint or uh, it's bits of the paper left unpainted. But yeah, it's certainly got the sense of the spray and the, the feeling of the, the crest of the waves there. Yeah, well done, Steve. Thank you very much. And Calvin. So we've got three boats here, all sort of, these two really, you, you've got a, a sense of the movement of the boats and and um, they're, they're going sort of double speed um, to wherever their destination is. Uh, Slightly different, so you've gone for more of a a detailed look to the scene. I like I like the way that you've got the horizon quite dark compared to the sky. You haven't um, gone with that lighter sky, doesn't matter, but we can see the light is coming from the right hand side. So the sky is lighter here, nice wash, control wash and going darker over into the top left corner. Watch with the birds, don't make them too regular. Have them a bit random, different sizes of birds. It looks like they're a little bit too perfect in their formation. Uh, but well done on these boats and slightly different technique on the waves as well. And this is Calvin's own way of signing the, the paintings with that, um, that stamp there. Very, very nice. Well done, Calvin. Barry M. Uh, so ba with Barry, um, I like these boats. They're very good boats. Um, I mean, they're, they're, it's nice that you've chosen a different sort of style of boat as well. And you kept with my red stripe <laughs> along the top of the hole and a blue one for the for the back one on the basis of blue pushes things further backwards and red brings things further towards us nice sky um a bit like calvin don't make the birds too perfect have them different sizes some large some small uh waves uh they're all right um Perhaps they're a bit too horizontal. Uh, if there was a bit more of a, a curve to them, Barry, that might make them a look, look a little bit better. Watch these hard edges as well. Uh, is, 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 this might be the first time you've done a seascape and it was difficult for me. It was really difficult to try and think how a rough sea would work. But um, yeah, just try and, try and have them a lip a little bit less horizontal. I've got, got a very sharp, very sort of hard horizontal edge. I like that wave there though. That wave is superb and these boats are brilliant. And that sky, fantastic sky. Look at these marks appearing. You haven't, you haven't gone back into that sky. You just let it be. Um, yeah, lovely sky, Barry, and great boats. Well done. Gary M. Ah. Great, look at that, that sky. <laughs> it looks like someone's shining a massive halogen light. Gary M, great sky. Uh, love this uh, effect of the sky. You've got then different colours as well. The clouds that you've you've got in there. Um, but you can see the, the brightness that uh, Gary's been able to achieve with um, white in the middle and then slightly yellowish on the perimeter. And then we get into these darker, these darker clouds and the, the radial effect that um, Gary has been able to achieve and then the light hitting the surface. Um, very nice. Uh, perhaps the waves a little bit too horizontal, perhaps if they were a bit more we had a bit more of a crest and, and more irregular. Um, that would work a little bit better. But you, you, you can feel it. It's choppy. Got a bit of spray coming up there as well. 
Um, but well, well done, Gary, for getting an, an introduction to the different colours, the blue, the greeny blue of the sea going bluer, darker in intensity coming towards us. Um, and then the uh, limited use of white paint just to get in the feeling of the foam and, and also the marks, the direction of the marks of these, um, the softness in those waves, very effective as well. Uh, great boats. I particularly like the right hand one. That really does the, the feeling that it's going at a, a slight angle. Um, but for me, love the sky. Well, look at that darkness in the top right corner there, top left corner. But that that whole area there, Gary, brilliant. Well done. Jenny, very nice. Love these waves, Jenny. Very nice. Um, you've certainly got in some nice wave shapes there. The, the crest of these waves, they're brilliant. And the back, the, the sky, I like that. Uh, nice and soft, wet in wet, different colours, bit of green, bit of blue, bit of neutral tint or something as well. Bit of light of the cabin. This is what we were trying to achieve with the painting is getting in that light there against the darker value of the sky. Um, so well done, Jenny. But love those, love those waves. Well done. And Klaus, uh, it's a nice, nice boat. Very nice boats there, Klaus. Um, I like the sky. Bit of granulation appearing also in the sky. Um, watch the overworking in the middle. Well, some of these waves are just a little bit overworked, perhaps a little bit too dark above. Um, the, the, the crest of waves, perhaps if it was a lighter value, then the white bit of the waves, then the dark value, that might work a little bit more. This, this dark line here is just a little bit too harsh from some of these, um, vertical marks, but the boats are brilliant. That sky, fantastic, Klaus, um, the granulation, the birds, the, you've got the, like Jenny, you've got that lighter cabin against the darker sky, bit of bit of sort of brown burnt umber or something on the horizon. Yeah, lovely. It's just the um just some of the brush marks you've made for the water. Um just slightly overdone, but great, great sky, fantastic boats. Well done, Klaus. Jerry, Jerry B, yeah, quite a sort of um, simple approach to the boats, which is very effective. Just so sort of bold areas highlighted against the sky, the left one and the right one works quite well. Um, certainly got an economy of brush marks on, on this. It's not overworked in any way um so you've chosen a sort of color scheme of a neutral tint and a bit of a, a turquoise or yeah sort of like sort of turquoise color um for the sea yeah it works really well uh perhaps some of these waves have have different thicknesses of the crest of the wave so it's not just a, a um a sort of fairly similar um, width of those waves. I'm trying to, trying to find the right words for it. Um, like this one here, that, that's, that's, that's a, a deeper um, one there, a little bit narrow and deeper, whereas a bit too sort of, the, the, the width is sort of too, um, it's, it's the same width all the way down. So, but a nice angle, good angle on those Jerry. Um, and, the, and the sky, brilliant, feeling of light coming through, simple way that you've done the boats, not overworked at all. Um, watch with the lines, like you got lost and found there, 
but maybe it could have you could have gone a little bit thinner on some of the the rig you're not sure the size of this um painting is but you've got that lost and found that's brilliant well done um but maybe could could have done that on the those lines going there yeah I just for me it's just the um the same width of the waves if they were just narrow and then wider that would work more effectively and also some of these little waves little tiny um white areas between the two major waves perhaps that is just uh, you're drawing attention to with a bit of dark hair underneath it maybe have a bit more like like these two or three marks there um yeah i would, I would uh, miss those but yeah lovely one Jerry, certainly an economy of brush marks. Well done. Uh, Ricardo. Fantastic. Um, the way that you've done the seal. I like the, the, the way that you've got thinner brush marks in the distance, but you're coming a little bit thicker towards us. I like the effect of these... Um, these circular, these curved marks here, certainly got a feeling of the structure of the wave, the form of the wave. Uh, great colours as well, green, blue. Um, boat's very nice. Watch the, watch with the birds that they're not too large and too, all the same size. Perhaps if they had a few um, smaller birds, that'd be a little bit more effective. But I love these boats and that wave there hitting the middle of this boat, very realistic and a bit of a shade. You know, the light is here, a bit of shade going off to that left hand side. Um, really nice. Well done, Ricardo. So John D. Wow. Now, I, I suggested everyone go, does their own colour scheme you don't need to follow my my viridian green theme but um john you, you, you certainly get the prize so far um for the the bright the brightness of it and almost turner-esque this sort of um lightness that you've got this irregular lightness that the shape of this light area um very nice and a light sort of value of that that far boat, harder value of this one. Um, maybe just a little bit overwork some of the bits on this boat, uh, but it's it's very nice. You've got certainly it, it does it does give a feeling of the curve of the hull and um, yeah, just I just think that the cabin is a little bit too much overworked there. But the, these colours are fantastic. Uh, the waves you've certainly paid a lot of um, attention effort to those waves and the form of them and these little lines as well the the crest of the wave fantastic perhaps it looks a little bit too calm between the left hand side and the right hand side if you see what I mean um, perhaps it should be a bit more wavy um, down the middle of the painting rather than some of these horizontal marks you've got here sort of emphasizing the flatness of the structure but left and right John brilliant and that light and your choice of colors yeah well done uh, lovely one John right Meg great uh, now this is lovely you haven't gone for the same sort of technique that i use for the waves but you've done really well um with the these soft edges um i particularly i don't know why but <laughs> this wave here on the left hand side um be like jerry's before very few brush marks that you've achieved um, the the feeling of the choppiness of the the water. Uh, the the valley of the sky, nice soft edge around that. The right hand fishing boat almost disappearing behind the wave. 
Um, this darker, these darker marks across the middle, um, perhaps, perhaps a little bit too dark. I'm, I'm just thinking whether that would work as if it was some kind of, um, some kind of cloud in front of the moon. It's throwing us like a dark shadow over the water. It, but it looks all right. Um, for me, I would have maybe, maybe if we didn't have a couple of these dark marks here, Meg. But the, the fishing boat's brilliant, that, that sky, um, and the way that you've done the sea, um, very nice indeed. And darker shadows behind some of them too. Do you see that line there? Oh, well done, Meg. Yeah, brilliant. And you certainly got a good command of watercolour um, and that wetting where that moody sky, lighter area there, dark, and then lighter again, a little bit of white showing. Yeah, fantastic, Meg. Well done. Hyun Mi O. Now, see, very good. This boat, very good. Maybe this one, it looks a little bit too perfect. Perhaps it should be sat more in the water. It looks like it's too high up above the water, if you see what I mean. But these waves, very nice. And, and the height of the waves on the left-hand side, very good. Sky, brilliant. You've, you've, we almost can't see the horizon. I think that works really well. Um, and that's that brightness continues on down into the scene. But these waves, um, fantastic. The wet in wet that you've achieved, a bit of darkness behind those waves that are crashing over on themselves. Um, and a bit like Calvin, you got, I love your stamps down here. I am in Calvin's, brilliant. Um, yeah, so right hand boat, I like that one, but this one appears a little bit too high in the water. And perhaps that edge there could be a little bit less dark. Um, but everything else, fantastic. The standout for me, a couple of things done really well on that, on that light, like everyone has done really well on the on the sky, and particularly those incorporate a bit of brightness. But I really like those waves, they're, they're fantastic. Um, very well painted and little bits of white here i guess was perhaps some splattering you might have done or whether they were deliberately placed and around the fringes of the waves some white marks there yeah fantastic well done so next sandra wow feeling of darkness on the scene um particularly that left hand boat very nice Right hand boat doesn't look so much like a boat to me. Perhaps that cabin should have been a bit smaller and more to the back or more to the front rather than right bang in the middle. Um, sky, a little bit overworked in my opinion. Um, just with some of these skies, if, they're, if it's like a, a smaller part of the overall size of the scene, then don't place so much effort on it. So spend less time doing that, um, doing that sky. Watch the the halo effect around these objects, that lighter area following the outline of the ship and that you've done around here on the right hand boat, uh, going up the mast and down the side, just watch that. Unless it could be a little bit of light, could be a light on the top of the mast shining down on the scene that would work um waves yeah they're really nice um perhaps a little bit too dark in the middle there and try and do a bit more do a bit more wet and wet I, I love the the waves in the middle brilliant certainly they they look a lot more realistic than uh, I think it's that dark line there, Sandra, underneath the waves. But the the, the, the sense of darkness 
um, a gloomy scene, the colours you've chosen, brilliant. And um, very nice boat on the left-hand side. Well done, Sandra. Okay, next up is Sheila L. And oh, well done for choosing a different couple of types of boats there. So we've got like a, a tugboat and um, a boat with a more more of a sort of cabin structure on it. Uh, with the, so the sky, very good. Nice soft edge around that. Um, the waves... They're a little bit overweight. You might need a little bit more practice on the waves there, Sheila. But I love the birds. And um, certainly this boat here looks like it's sort of just rising up on, on the top of a wave. Um, sky very nice. Birds very nice. Yeah, just just the waves aren't sort of working for me too much. They're, there's some of the dark lines that you've got um, running across like this one here. And some of the others coming towards us. Um, to practice your wet and wet a bit more. And um, yeah, it's sort of it's a, the brush mark trying to make that wave shape. Unless you, you've actually done very well with the middle ground. Those the, the way that you've done the seed there is really good. But coming towards us, um, we've lost it a little bit. But well done, Sheila. Love the boats, love the the sky and the birds as well. Uh, Bert. So, good boats. I love those boats. Um, perhaps the light on this one would be on the left-hand side, but not on the right-hand side. But very nice boats. I like the way that you've done the water, actually. I was thinking maybe the, there's lots of little tiny brush marks here, but it's actually quite effective as um, as a sea, the way of doing it. You, you've sort of been consistent on those um, brush marks and their sort of smaller brush marks in the distance and then got a bit bolder coming down, coming down towards us. Love that sky. Very nice sky, but... Um, Bit like Gary, it looks like you've got a bit of yellow in there. Not sure, but that sky is very nice. And, the, and also the irregular um, edging, the pattern of it um, works really well. Darker to the left, darker to the right. Yeah, lovely one, Bert. Well done. And Cliff B. Wow. Um, I like the the pattern of this wave in the foreground, the shape of that wave and these marks that you've got in there. Uh, and the, this, this boat sort of almost sinking down into, into a wave. Um, sky, very good. Also, perhaps the cabin could be, perhaps the cabins on the boats could be a little bit bigger. But great job on the sea there, Cliff. And um, the the shapes of these waves as well. Um, yeah, it's quite different, actually. Uh, yeah, just thinking over on the left-hand side, does it need anything? Another whiter area over there. But also what you've been able to achieve on this one is it's really dark on the right-hand side. I like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Good bit of light coming down. Yeah, great one. Well done, Cliff. Sandy M. So let me just think about this. I, I like the, the sky. Um, even the little bits that are showing through there um, works all right got the edge around the lighter area. Perhaps it's a bit too dark. It's great, great. These are some nice clouds here, these sort of vertical clouds. Perhaps that's a little bit too dark towards that edge. It could be a little bit softer. 
Um, boat's really nice. Yeah, they're very effective. Watch the cabin not being too, too much in the middle. That right-hand boat is brilliant. And the, the waves in the middle ground, really nice. And then coming towards us. Not sure what this area is here, Sandy. Um, yeah, particularly with the vertical marks there. Um, just spoils it a little bit. But everything else, yeah, really nice. Just my my comment about that mark there and just this sort of left-hand edge, this sort of softer edge there. But boat's really nice. Um, just watch these cabins being too much in the middle. Um, thank you, Sandy. Bob. Very atmospheric, very bold. Um, I like the this near wave but the maybe the middle one should have some this next one here um, that I'm going along should maybe have some a few breaks in it and then we're going a little bit too calm in the distance um, sky yeah works all right bit of a reflection as well that we've got coming through uh, left hand fishing boat very nice not so sure about this right hand one where it looks a little bit too sort of stubby and the cabin being a, a funny kind of a shape. Perhaps it should slant off over to the left and watch the brightness on the right hand side. Maybe if that cabin had the light, because the light's coming from the middle, if it was lighter on the left hand side, that would work better, Bob. Um, yeah, but not, I, I especially like this. Um, these near waves, they're brilliant, they're fantastic. What well on Bob? Ah, Jim, <laughs> and well done for, for including um, different boats. Uh, these sailing boats look at look at the angle where we're creating the impression of the wind here with the angle of the mast. Um, simmer angle on both boats, one chasing the other. We've, we've got the bright light coming through as well, silhouetting the, the yachtsman. Um, yeah, the, the nice, nice way that you've done the way. Don't make them too regular with some of these dark marks here, Jim, I would say. I like that wave there, brilliant, and these other ways, but maybe just a little bit too regular in some of these darker lines, but Apart from that, weighs really nice. Um, a, a sense of the background um, land as well uh, that you've got there on the horizon. Oh, that's a really nice scene. Um, also, oh yeah, one comment about the the tops. Just losing the tops of the mast here. If if this was maybe. If this was maybe portrait orientation rather than landscape orientation, that might work just a, a little bit better. But yeah, sometimes I don't know whether it works too well cutting off the top of a mask. I do it myself all the time and I kick myself off the painting um, for not sort of bringing down that structure just a little bit so we can see the very top of it. But well done for choosing slightly different boats rather than fishing boats yeah very nice uh, well done Jim Shirley yeah wow um great waves very bold um on this this right hand side that boat is connected to the sea that works well and it sort of pushes it back it's they're all like one and those boats are superb and the way that you've got the, the horizon as well, we've got a bit of a hard edge there, surely, and then softer. Very nice. And um, perhaps these fishing boats, there might be just a little bit more of a mask going on. But honestly, or maybe just a little bit more of a reflection, possibly coming down the middle of the scene. 
But this is this is lovely. Well done, Shelley. You should be pleased with that one. And the 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 atmosphere, the mood of that sky, um, and connecting the boat to the sea. Well done. Sioux. Great waves. Um, these boats being tossed around. This one. So sort of similar to mine, you've got the left hand one sort of coming up and the right hand one going down again. Um, we've got like the last painting, we've got the connection of the boat on the right hand side with the sea. Almost done as one, different sizes of birds as well. Lost and found. See, lost, found, lost, found, lost, found. Um, that's very effective. Love the the um the waves particularly in the middle here perhaps just watching these marks here um although they're consistent um perhaps it was more wet in wet so maybe when you went in with intentionally trying to put in some darker marks in this near wave Perhaps the water was a little bit, perhaps you had a bit too much water on your brush. So you, you've got that kind of, um, almost you've lifted out some of the areas of the sea. So it, it appears to, you lose that freshness of it. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but apart from that, very nice. Um, great sky, that softness there. Um, like the boat, just, just connecting with the sea. And these middle ways, very good. Not overworked at all, but just a little bit overworked in the foreground. Thanks, you. And Amy. Um, I love these near waves. The, the left hand bigger one, that right hand one, and this one sort of cutting across. Yeah, um, these waves are superb, a bit softer. Going up to the middle, a few hard reflections of this boat. Um, yes, lovely. That's well done, Amy. That's brilliant. Um, I think the boats are just right. Uh, got the figure, little figure on the left-hand boat. Yeah, that sky. It's very nice. I like the sky. Um, not overworked at all. Yeah, well done. Um, can't really sort of fault that one at all, really. It's it's uh, brilliant. Well done, Amy. Linda. Ah, <laughs> straight away we've got this lighthouse here. And look at that little that sort of trail of white then coming down here. Brilliant. Um, boats being tossed around. Wow, this sea is certainly choppy. Um, and then you, you, you see got a sort of slightly greenish colour to the middle ground. It gets very soft as it hits the sky. Yeah, very nice. And uh, a different style to the fishing boats. They're more of a sort of smaller size um, that you've got with these boats. Um, like the touch, though, of the lighthouse and and maybe um, some shoreline buildings there on the right hand side. Yeah, what well on Linda, thank you. Deborah. So, uh, watch with a, a little bit of overworking perhaps of some of the areas of the painting. Uh, boats are very good, but just a little bit overworked, not sure. That left-hand boat, yeah, looks it looks realistic. It's going from right to left, but this one, maybe the boats were going the same direction. Or is this one? And maybe that is the, maybe that is the bow there going forwards. Um, this guy here is risking things a little bit by standing up on the hull. Uh, but yeah, you've got you've got a feeling of the choppy waves, Deborah. Um, I love the foreground waves as well, the jagged edge of the crest of the waves, very effective. Um, yeah, not so sure about that right-hand boat though. 
the actual shape of it and trying to define where the where trying to decide where the horizon is sort of behind it. Um, apart from that, very nice, great scene, lovely sky, lovely waves as well. Uh, lovely, well done. Uh, Anna, Anna B. Right. Perhaps the horizon, I love the, the waves, they're very good, but perhaps the horizon is just a little bit too high, Anna. Um, the, these boats though are really good, but we're just missing, if we had an extra sort of inch or two of the top of the paper that we're going to have lost a little bit of the um, the effect of the bright light coming through. But those waves, they're superb. Not overworked at all. Um, I like this one. This left hand wave looks like you've got a bit of the light shining through. So we've got the crest of the wave and the light shining through. Very nice, uh, which is what we we're trying to do. So light, so the lightest bit of the top, lighter bit there, darker down towards the crest of the next wave and darker underneath that one as it's crashing over. Yeah, brilliant waves, lovely boats, but just a shame that um, for me, uh, if we just had a little bit more paper at the top, that would work a little bit better. But well done, Anna. Sally P. Right. Uh, nice sky, bit of granulation happening here, which is very nice in my opinion. Um, and this this right hand boat looks like there's the the wave crashing over the boat. So we've got that bit of lightness hitting that. That's very nice. Uh, the waves. Um, we've got a sort of similar value coming through, so we don't have the the effect of we we've got the crest of the waves but we don't have a feeling of their form, the, the peaks and troughs. Yes, we've got the white bits at the top, but if there was some, um, I think it's particularly notable on the left-hand side here, from here to here is almost the same sort of value going through. It was different areas of light and dark that would give you more of the form of the sea. The middle sea though, brilliant, uh, really nice Sally. Boat's very nice, well painted. Um, I especially like, I like the sky. And that, um, <laughs> just that little bit, that, that, that lightness, that soft edge. It just looks like a wave has broken and this is the spray going back. Um, yeah, well done Sally, thank you. And Lex. So, yeah, quite, I like, actually quite like the way that you've done your boats. Um, and with the, with the dry brush marks that you've got in there, Lex, um, very nice. Uh, the way that you've done the middle ground sea works really well. Uh, perhaps we've lost a little bit of the softness of the sky with some of these little marks showing through. Um, but boat's really good. The middle, sea very good. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps it's a little bit too dark underneath some of these, some of these waves here, just a little bit too dark. But if I stamp, I'm standing back now. Yeah, it's, 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 got, a, it's got a nice feeling about it. And I actually like this area down here. Um, the Some of the lighter areas and a bit of blue and the darkness. Uh, but I, I love those boats, particularly this right hand boat. It, to me, it looks like they're bigger boats, bigger sh well, ships um, than what I was doing. Um, yeah, nice one, Lex. Well done. Brilliant. Uh, Ravi, very economical use of 
brush marks, Ravi, like the sky. Perhaps it could have been a bit more of a softer edge around the sky. Uh, but nice sky, certainly a feeling of the roughness of the water. Uh, the, for me, the foreground waves are more realistic than the middle ground. So uh, perhaps if your brush had a more of a point on it, or a bit bigger edge, and if we had more uh, uh, an introduction of more values, um, darker values and, and uh, shadows behind the waves in the middle ground, that would be better. But those foreground waves, very, very good. Well done. Now, Lauren. Well, very choppy. I like those fishing boats. Great sky, different colours in that sky. Um, reds and greens as well. Uh, two fishing boats, really well done. Uh, I like the, the way that you've got the light on the left-hand boat here. Uh, watch the... Like I was saying before, uh, the sort of painting around a boat, perhaps we should have lost that bit of um, lightness there, Lauren, and perhaps a little bit on the top of the, the top of these holes, but the sky, very nice. See, just a little bit overworked. Uh, uh, the, the actual middle ground sea is very effective, but perhaps down here, less so. Uh, yeah, it's about some of these, some, it, you've actually got a great sense of movement here with, with some of the brush marks, but perhaps just a little bit too overworked. It's like a, it's like colours on top of colours. Um, yeah, middle ground though, brilliant. Sky, brilliant. Boat's very nice, but just watch the painting around some of those some of those outlines there. So, Maria. Well, very, very dramatic um, foreground with it's, it's the sort of bottom half of the painting is quite dark. Um, now, let's just concentrate on the top half. Top half, really good. I love that sky. It's light coming down. Um, I like the way that you've got a sort of hard, a harder edge at the top of the lightness and it gets soft as we come down. Um, a bit of a bloom around that boat, but that works really well. As if these could be, these could be waves crashing against the boats. Now that boat, because it's connected with the water, it looks really good. Um, I think this needs to, this boat needs to connect more with the surface of the water, maybe with a few reflections or something like that. Um, but then that boat's really good. Middle ground sea, very nice. Um, yeah, very dramatic with the bottom half of the scene. Perhaps if there were some lighter areas in there just to give the form, the curve of the, the wave, the wave rather just being the sort of bottom third is just a, a dark, a dark area. So um, I would have liked to have seen a bit more of the form of the wave coming through that. Certainly as you've got in the middle ground, that, that works really well. That top half, for me, the top half is better than the, the bottom half, if you see what I mean, Maria. But well done on the sky, that, that right hand boat there, superb and not overworked at all in that um, in that those middle waves. Uh, Jeff, nice one, Jeff. Like the sky. Um, so you've sort of closed up the top of that bright area. That works really well, as if the light's shining through from low low sun or the the um, and the moon or something like that. Uh, certainly got a feeling with the way that you've done the waves. You've got the choppiness of the waves, but it, it looks like we've got a sense of perspective here with the waves becoming bigger as they're coming towards us. Very well done. 
Um, I like the boats. Um, I think the, the right hand boat looks, yeah, the right hand boat for me looks better than the left hand one. And maybe there's a little bit light here at the back of the boat. Perhaps that could have been a little bit darker, that whole cabin. Um, but yeah, it's not overworked at all, Jeff. And, and we, we, what I wanted to try and achieve was a soft sky and then harder edges with a seam. You've certainly achieved that. Yeah, well done, Jeff. Um, Pete. So quite light in value here. Um, lighter in colour. Uh, could have gone a bit darker maybe with the sky, Pete. Um, in, just in my opinion. Um, you've got the lighter areas though against the darker sky. And the right hand boat. Sense of movement. Um, C, very good, nice, um, nice white, the white crests of the waves there. Yeah, I, I think it's really nice. It, for me, I would have gone a bit darker with the sky. Just watch the edge as well. Um, as I was saying, unless you intended to mount this, just watch the edges of your paper. I would, for me, I would sort of go right over the edge. Perhaps this is a block, you're working from a block here. Um, but the main part of the scene, very nice indeed. What well on Pete. And Gossia. Lovely waves. You've got a very good handling of a graded wash. Very controlled, lovely. Um, so those waves, very nice. Uh, with the boats, right hand boat, very nice. Left hand boat, I'm not sure about the bow of that boat. Should we maybe a little bit straighter and the cabin not so big? Um, if that's the size of a figure there. I know a lot of us maybe are not used to doing fishing boats and um, it was a new thing for us, but it takes a bit of practice and you need to look up a few sort of reference photos of fishing boats. But yeah, that, that sea, you've definitely got a feeling of the, the choppiness of it. Um, you, you painted that really well, Goss. It's just that left-hand boat, the cabin looks a little bit too big, but everything else, brilliant, well done. Robin, wow, you've got more of a lighter area and you coming over these boats are really well placed. The, the composition on this is fantastic. That right hand boat, um, lighter in value. Look at the waves around the waterline, particularly at the back of the boat. Uh, yes, th these fishing boats are brilliantly painted. Waves, well, let's, let's touch, the, so the sky, very good. And I, I particularly like the way that you've got more of a lighter area here. Rather than being a sort of oval, you've you've sort of brought it down. It's wider on the horizon than above. Very nice. The waves, middle ground, superb, brilliant. Um, perhaps a little bit overworked as we're coming towards us. This this one here, Robin. But I like I like the one immediately closer to us. That works really well, and the ones above it. Um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, that sky. Um, very, very well. The fishing boat's really well done. Brilliant. Well done. Nancy. Actually, I should have cropped this one, shouldn't I, um, before submitting it? But we can sort of see what's going on. Uh, lovely colours. Um, you've got the softness of the sky. The soft edge as well. Um, right hand boat. Yeah, again, the well, the cabin on that right hand boat maybe just a little bit too big, Nancy. Uh, one on the left, that left hand boat a lot better. Very nice. Um, the waves, very good. Um, just be careful with a little bit of overworking of some of those waves. But... Uh, Everything else, really nice. Just watch, yeah. 
So just a little bit of overworking and some of those waves, but just watch the cabin sizes on, on that boat there. Yeah, lovely one, Nancy. Well done. Um, oh, I think I've done Linda's already. Um, Kenny, not sure how Linda's slipped in there twice. Um, so, Kenny. Yeah, great feeling of um, this, the dominance of this nearby um, wave here. And the range of values that you've got in there also, this lightness in the middle, um, the middle um, choppy, the, the, the way that you've rendered the middle waves, very good. And the erratic shape of those, the crest of the waves. Yeah, very nice, Kenny. Lovely. Uh, perhaps a few more. Oh, watch the... Watch the lightness around the back of the boat. So you've sort of painted up to the boat. Maybe if you, with the sky, you went over the cabin or use that bit of masking tape um, trick that I used that would lose the lightness of the back of the boat. You want the light, I think, hitting the front of the boat because the light is coming from this source here. The light coming there and then the back um, of this second boat. Um, Bit more light hitting the uh, the bow there, but this foreground waves brilliant sky brilliant. Well done, Kenny. Joy. So quite light in value. Um, sky very nice. Uh, again, like a few of you have achieved, um, nice sort of radial effect on the left hand side, but sky brilliant. Um, fishing boats, very nice, right hand one, almost lost in the sort of misty condition of the sea. Uh, perhaps the rest of the sea just, yeah, it maybe could have got a bit more drama with, with lights and darks, possibly joy. Um, but it's, it's a nice painting. I, I particularly like, um, I particularly like the boats. That background sky, the background sky, and the fact this right hand boat almost lost in the sea. Yeah, very atmospheric. Well done. So that uh, Joy's was the last painting. So thanks very much everyone that attended the April 2020 workshop, our imaginary uh, seascape scene. Um, we're back to normality or some form of normality as regards painting in May when we're going, we've got a source photograph. This is, the subject is the pretty village of Fivizzano, um, high up in the Tuscan hills in Italy, a sunny scene, working against the light, bit of contra jour as well in this scene. Um, so a sunny scene there as well to contend with, not working from imagination. More details on the workshop and how to register for the workshop will be in the comments of this video or go to my website, timwilmot.com. But thanks very much again for everyone that attended the April workshop. Hope you enjoyed it. We will do um, boats and sea or harbour scene at uh, a later date but hopefully catch up with most of you if not all of you on the May workshop. Thanks very much indeed.